in life, um, we all, we all handle situations differently. And when things make us uncomfortable, we have different ways to, to deal with it, handle it. Maybe we handle something one way with one person and another way with another person. So what got me thinking about all this is, um, there's all these news reports about the, the sexual harassment and sexual assaults and like the fact that it's like a larger systemic problem and um, listening to it I'm just uh, I'm weighted with guilt of, um, and then I feel shame that I feel guilt I can just think about a number of times like I've been like I've been disrespected by men throughout my life especially like more as an adult I would say definitely than as a like a teenager child but um like it's it is so prevalent and like you know sometimes I might be ev like evasive or I just like try to get away other times I might be um like, um, like, ah, don't do that. Like, where I'm like silly passive. Other times I'm aggressive with it. Sometimes I just do nothing. Like, more than anything though, like I do nothing. More than anything I do nothing. And it's because like I, I, um, like, I don't want to make the man feel uncomfortable. I don't want to, um, like, hurt his feelings or reject him. Like, what the fuck is that? And then, like, like I am <laughs> I'm a logical, put-together person that I should, like, do better, know better. And so then it turns into this, like, like my own blaming of the victimization by men throughout my life. But I feel that shame. I don't need to out anyone. <laughs> or anything like that. Like, I, I'm excited that all these women are speaking out. And I'm really, I'm really hopeful that maybe this creates um, a paradigm shift where it's not okay to disrespect women's bodies. Or to treat us like we're sexual objects. Um, someone really powerful in my community was really inappropriate with me once and I was telling other women about this another woman about it after it happened and she said that like her experience she's she's uh, about 20 years older than me her experience has been is that like men this is her experience not all men of course you can't generalize but frequently she's had interactions with men who when they couldn't like control situations based on their like male power or intelligence or anything else because she's also like an intelligent confident woman that then they would start like sexualizing her to try to demean her in a way to gain power and I was like oh my gosh like yeah I don't know how many times it's happened where I've sat in a room a space a meeting a hangout a place and it, it's not up front in, in the beginning but at a certain point and it's just so pervasive like everywhere everywhere I don't think a week goes by that something inappropriate does not happen and we could you know it's gross so I just want to name that that's what I'm thinking about Blah. can you see how beautiful this day is this is amazing it's been like four days in a row. If we could have a sunny winter like this all year. I left my coat in the car. If I was gonna stand outside for a few minutes, I would need my coat, but just walking to the building, I don't need it. And inside the school is always warm. So I actually wear one of those like sweater things today. So I'll probably be sweaty all day at school. Yeah, but I am so thankful for the beauty this beautiful, beautiful day. They closed off the stairs. Huh, weird. Okay. So, keep you updated as the day persists.
My friend Joanna is in town from San Francisco with her fiance. And so I just spent time with her and a few of our other friends, which was wonderful. Um, yeah, it was great. And before that, I'd actually met Anthony for a moment to process some stuff I was having. It was super helpful. So again, Anthony, great friend. Um, so we, I, we have a new t-shirt slogan. And it's, why would you take my wallet when you could take a nap? My friend's neighbors have an old couch in their front yard, okay? I left my wallet on the passenger seat, just sitting on the passenger seat while I was inside my friend's house. I mean, the car's locked, but still. So I said, why would anyone take my wallet when they could choose to take a nap? So we're gonna make a t-shirt out of that. Why take a wallet? when you can take a nap. No need for stealing anymore. We've come up with the solution. It's called nap time. Um, so I will end your day and our day with this. I've been thinking about um, some new ways to do the vlog. I seem to be stuck at 40 subscribers and I think I need like a million. And so I'm not making much progress for that. Um, the daily vlogs is like maybe that's too much let me know down below what you think like do you have ideas or recommendations the goal when I first started this was not only to kind of um, like chronicle like life of parenting and going to law school and that but also ideally it could become a source of income while I'm in law school so I've made no movement towards that and even though I do like to talk to myself every single day I might just be wasting time. So, let me know your thoughts. Ways to improve it, shift, change, topics, goals, ideas. What are your thoughts? Let me know.